Hello guys, welcome straight from the horse's mouth. This is the flat edition. I've done two videos today, the other one's for the jumps. And uh, in the last jumps video I did, I tipped a 12 to 1 winner called Progressive, your one today. So it's probably worth checking out the jumps video. But as I say, this for the jumps is a new market. Um, I uploaded the information to my own website um, before I did the video. And I uh, probably did that about half an hour ago now, maybe because I had to walk back. Um, anyway. All the prices should be relatively current, and these are the selections I've made, so let me tell you about them. Um, I'll be working on the assumption that the going will have changed to good at Newmarket by Saturday as no rain is forecast. 145 Newmarket, a mile and two furlongs, and a good old fin flying start at Zettel and the Stakes, a group three, class one, for two year olds. Although the blue blooded Hafit is in this race, my preference is for Goldspur, who absolutely hacked up on his debut on soft going. He was seriously impressive and won the Class 4 novice race by six and a half lengths. Being a son of Dibawi, there is likely to be improvement on a firmer surface in addition to the natural progression we would expect. I expect him to be fine running in group company and he will appreciate the step up in trip. Charlie Appleby is in awesome form as normal, with a 29% wins to runs percentage in the last 14 days. James Doyle is back in the saddle after riding him last time, so be well aware of the horse's capabilities. And uh, this one is 7 to 2. That 7 to 2 is a bet 365, best odds guaranteed. The next one is in the 220 New Market. It's over a mile. Um, the Emirates Autumn Stakes Group 3, Class 1 for two year olds. Um, this race is absolutely fascinating. Um, both Corobus and Imperial Fighter have raced against Royal Patronage, but over slightly different distances. Uh, the one mile race Corobus contested was slow by 1.96 seconds on good to firm and he lost by a neck. The seven furlong race Imperial Fighter contested was slow by 0 0.96 seconds on good going and he lost by two and a quarter lengths. This would suggest they are very, very closely matched. I am concentrating on these two because I prefer them to the rest of the field, quite frankly. At the prices, it makes sense to take on the favourite, and Oshina will be keen to make amends for not racing on Friday and by winning as many as possible. Um, I don't know if any of you noticed, but he didn't ride today um, because he failed a, um, uh, an alcohol test on course, a random one. Um, he hadn't drank enough to fail a drink drive test, but he had drank enough or had enough alcohol in his system, I don't know if it's from the night before or what, um, to mean that he failed the, the horse riding test on the course. Um, so unfortunately he had to not ride any of his rides, so he's going to be keen to make amends, isn't he? So, anyway, uh, good luck to him tomorrow, that's what I say. Okay, the Imperial Fighter is tested on both good and soft going, will relish the trip, and the class won't be an issue. So, Imperial Fighter, um, this one's going up as an each way bet. Each way. And I say fifth of the odds. One to three. And the price on that is six to one. Best odds guaranteed for Ludbrooks, the big red sign. I used to work for the big red sign once, quite a number of years. Um, anyway, um, 3.35 new market, uh, two miles, two furlongs, together for race and international survival. I can never say this. I've been trying for 20 odd years. Cesaro Witch. Okay, the 335 new market, two miles, two furlongs, together for race in international Cesaro Witch handicap, heritage handicap, class two, for three rows plus. Um, it's quite possible I've wrote more words regarding platform 19 than any other horse, as I've recommended in all of his starts this season. Um, he is an excellent long distance runner and always puts in a fine effort. Uh, before his giant 648 day break, he was winning races at will, with four in a row all over long distances until his defeat and then he was rested. He returned with a win over two miles in a class three. He lost his next race by three and a half lengths, but the race was a muddle from start to finish. Held at Goodwood, it was started with a flip start and had to be restarted as the field did not break properly. Platform 19 is sometimes walked down to post or taken down early, so there was a fair chance he got a bit worked up by proceedings and did not show his best. Last time out, he did well again, finishing third in a 14-runner Class 2 race over two miles and half a furlong. He ran on the outside of the group, racing prominently, tracking the leaders. I'm not sure running so wide helped his cause, especially coming off the last corner at York, where he then put in a fine effort down the straight. It was really good down the straight, actually. 
The price is way too big on this one, and it looks like a great inch weight belt. I mean, it's way too big. It's not just a bit big, it's way too big. So this is each way, and what did I find for us? Uh, 25 to one, that's right, 25 to one, which seems like some kind of bookie-based madness. Um, that's with coral, and it's a fifth, one to seven. Okay, uh, best odds guaranteed. The next one is in the, where is it? The 445 new market. It's a Marlon one furlong, a Darley Stakes, group three, the three horse plus. Most of that uh, gets a nod here. He is a fantastic horse, and as a three year old, is still open to progression. The older horses will have trouble giving weight away to him as he has won four out of the five races he has contested. The ground is not an issue, as he is by Frankel. When he got beaten in St James's Palace Stakes Group 1 on fast ground, he had been badly hampered, which messed up his chances. He will relish the drop-in class, and the trip will not be a problem. He won a listed race on his return after a 92-day break, and can follow that up with this Group 3, which should be well within his grasp. Jim Crowley has rode on the last three occasions and gets back in the saddle on Saturday. He is in blazing form at the moment with eight winners from 22 runners over the last 14 days, which is a 36% strike rate. So, dropping my chalk. It's not very professional, is it? But some would argue this whole setup isn't really that professional. Anyway, <laughs> uh, most of that. Uh, this is a win bet, two to one. One for the favourite backers. And that's with William Hill. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and round this up for you a second. We have in the 145 new market, Gold Spur win 72, Bet 365, best odds guaranteed in the 220 new market. We have Imperial Fighter, each way 6 to 1, Labrooks, a fifth of the odds, 1 to 3, best odds guaranteed in the 335 new market. We have Platform 19, each way. 25 to 1, it's time to feed the cat, that's what that alarm was. Um, platform 19, each way, 25 to 1, Coral, a fifth of the odds, first seven, best odds guaranteed. And the last one was the 445 new market, a mile and one furlong. Um, I'm not sure why I did that bit in. I think I was put off by the alarm from just now. Most of that win, 2 to 1, William Hill. So, I think there's some great bits in there. Let's see how they run. And yeah, it's very exciting, the new market at the weekend. And uh, I'm a bit sad to see the end of this flat season. This flat season has been absolutely incredible. I know we've still got some time left, but it's definitely drawing to a close now. We've had the Prix de Lac de Triomphe. And uh, we've had the, the last meeting at air now as well. So yeah, beginning to wind down a bit, but there's still a lot of fun to come. And one thing I'm particularly looking forward to is the Breeders Cup races. And uh, I'll be seeing what I can do about those because I've just got an idea I may be able to link up possibly with somebody from America, I'm not sure. Let's we'll see how it goes. But anyway, um, the big price winner I was looking for yesterday actually came on the jumps and I haven't seen the last result for today yet on, on the flat, apart from I do know the other selections didn't do hugely well. So, um, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video then thumbs up. If you dislike the video, then thumbs down. I'd love it if you subscribed and you'd be able to get my tips into your feed so I can try and win you some money. So thanks very much for watching. Best of luck guys and gamble responsibly.